Hello, we are Geeked Assembled, and today it's just me and Susan um, discussing an episode of a cult UK, you know, British TV series, which ran from 1962 to 1978, uh, 801 episodes in total, um, and not many of them exist anymore because of the um, BBC um, disposing of all the, uh, the film. Um, this program we're talking about is Z Cars, um, which had many, many spin offs on TV. We had Z Cars, we had Softly, 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 uh, Tax, Task Force, Barlow at Large, and Barlow. Um, they were all spin offs from Z Cars in the, in the UK, uh, with characters from the TV series. Uh-huh. Uh, but, uh, but to say this. Z Cars, the TV series, ran for 801 episodes. Now, that's a hell of a lot of episodes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and this what this episode was, is from 1973, if I remember rightly, December 1973. And it's called Pieces, as in a piece of, um, a piece of cake, so we say, Pieces. Um, but... This is guest starring a British act, actor who, a certain Susan, is just at the moment... Um, he started with? started, yes, with Paul Darrow, uh, no longer with us, but um, she, she's uh, she's in the Paul Darrow mood this month. Um, yeah, I guess you could say that that is a mood. <laughs> it's, Paul it's, Darrow is a mood. <laughs> um so this this episode is, I mean, it was Z Cars was not a high tech police series. It was about proper real life sort of th- you know noble things happening in real life, uh, you know. And this episode was about uh, a burglary, um, vandalism of a home, and how it affected the family. Um, yeah. And then really, there was no no super super car chases like you know what Stasky and Hutch used to do in America, but um, this was the the British way of a police drama, shall we say? And um, so that's the the gist of the theme of this episode. Um, so Susan, your opening thoughts on pieces of the Zedcars episode? All right. Well, thanks for explaining it to me because I I had never seen it before. I watched this one episode. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, for obvious reasons, uh, I, I, do, I noticed that there was so much missing. I mean, like, th- like, literally, it looked like thousands of episodes missing from this show. And, you know, yeah. that's, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because people who were fans probably can't recover what they what they ever you know it was it was shown and then that was it and it wasn't like doctor who because you know a lot of doctor who is still missing like 90 91 episodes are still missing well out out of the 801 episodes of zed cars there's only about quarter that exists i know yeah, so that's a lot, and uh, the thing it it's a it's a humble police procedural like Barney Miller, like uh, Monk, like just just normal people doing normal policing, and it like um, oh, what's his name, DC Skinner really in this in this episode he really digs into the life of uh um trench and trench's family and his and his mental illness so it this one had um it had home invasion and it had a lot of uh property damage and then there was um and then, then when the 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 cop the um, the copper DC Skinner was digging and digging and doing the research and you know looking in in the files and 
checking, checking with doctors and things like that. All of this stuff came to light that this that this man who just been violated may have like like DC Skinner was trying to prove that that um, and he was following evidence that kind of led him to think, led him to believe that that he that that Trench was actually responsible for trashing his own house and uh, and, and not remembering it like he he was schizophrenic or something and no, he, he did suffer with that didn't he in the past that's why he was in a hospital right right but like like this was a, in 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 skinner's mind this was what was going on with him right then and you know because it was played with such pathos, such, um, you know, so well by Paul Darrow, you just felt for Trent. You just wanted to, you know, you wanted to stop the cops from from digging any further, and <clears throat> and at the very end, uh, he was. You know, it was proven that he was innocent, Trench was, and that this other bloke who had robbed a bunch of other places and just hadn't found anything because this family was so repressed. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like total anal retentive repression. Like these guys were like, like, super Christians, super, um, they were super psycho family, family oriented and quiet. And, you know, they were super meek people. These are the types that, that, that you know, in scripture says that'll inherit the earth. <laughs> it's that kind of family that they're talking about. People who could be really powerful, but just are not anyway. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and there was just no way of of pulling the. I mean, there was just it. It was such a short period of time of this investigation, and and Skinner did so much damage to Trench over the course of this. Just because he wanted, just because he wanted results, and he wanted to prove himself, and he wanted to prove that the the that his train of thought was right. Oh my God! It was like, it was like all these people who you know you hear now that are like waiting to be released from prison because they they actually were innocent and and and. But what they, you know, what happened with Trench at the end with like the the suicide attempt? Holy crap! I mean, this this one, you may have to actually put a trigger warning on our on our podcast because it does the this Z cars deals with mental illness and deals with suicide and suicidal activity you know he actually attempts suicide and and you know it was triggered by skinner and and his and his compatriot uh detective sergeant stone um you know he was and, and let me just give you the cast for those two john slater and ian cullen uh, played Stone and Skinner respectively, and you know, I mean, you could really be triggered if you were in a dark place and you saw this episode. It could really pummel you really hard. It's it's it it's super, it's super heart wrenching and. Uh, and triggering and it's got so much power in it it's uh 
but it's also it's also a simple story as well. It's, it's super. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. Over it, to you, back over. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we're, we're all used to Paul Darrow chewing and eating the scenery. Yeah. Blake Seven or uh, Doctor Who and stuff like that. But uh, he does, st he steals the scenes in this, but he's not chewing the scenery. In, in, he, he is... Super you nuanced. He's it's, it's, it's a, a quiet and, as you say, meek... Um, man uh, a family man with uh, three children but uh, you know as you say uh religious they, they say they come back from the church service on a sunday uh, to find their home being broken into and they just uh, vandalized um uh, you know but, but you see this is what the story it plays on because straight away you think there's something wrong straight away the way the way um trench's character is acting with his wife and the kids and and you start to think, has he done it? Has he has he has he done it? Because uh, the the it sort of gives you that sense that there is something there. And then the the police uh, Skinner, Skinner isn't it? Skinner gets hold of that feeling as well, but he won't let it go. And and, um, and he questioned him relentlessly. Yeah, yeah. He was really merciless in in his in his questioning of. Of poor Trench, mm. and um, because of that, you know, it triggered it triggered the 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 the, the breakdown at the end of the of the, the episode. Of course, um, uh. I mean, you, the you, way the way that the 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 way the Skinner and Stone were like back and forth thing about like how loveless and and broken this family seemed. You know, no joy and no, no that was that they didn't was have a telly, they didn't have any any uh radio, they didn't have any any newspaper or magazine or well that was mainly Skinner who 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 took that away from his meeting with them. It was it was Skinner who initiated his investigation into onto trench. Right. And, who, and he put his story uh Skinner's feelings towards his boss and his and his boss said to him look if that's your gut feeling just go and have you know investigate what you think and let me know what's going on but it really it was mainly down to skinner right i i mean yeah and that was and not letting go of because he wanted it to be true well he he just didn't dig once he once he'd because at the beginning of this episode, he's in a right mood because he doesn't get these big, big um, investigations. He's he's moved down to this um, police department or wherever because he's from Newcastle. Uh, you know, this is and this this is set near I think near Manchester, uh, so the city of the side of the country, Newcastle. And, um, and and yeah, I, there's a lot of stories about Manchester police. I mean, there's. There's ashes to ashes and uh, and life on Mars and stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of like that. But I got the I got the gist of the beginning of this episode is that he want he he was bored because he was just hand punching these small little crime incidents all the time. He he's not getting the big the big cases like he used so, to do. So because he because he was twisted off or sawed it off he yeah. he he did he did shitty police work i mean he, and and really sort of uh abusive pol police work yeah i mean it's not it's not like uh it's not like obviously what the what the what black people were dealing with with the police at that time um but it was what it was really, really uh, overly aggressive and abusive police work. It was it was aggressive mentally to trench. Well, that's all. That's that's yeah. that's where this story lay. Yeah, mean, yeah. He didn't. He they didn't. They didn't find the forensic evidence. 
Man. Because they didn't, they stopped looking. And they, and, they and, and Skinner was in the mindset. He's he's found his man. He 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 was going to go for it. He's going to try and prove him guilty, no matter what. Well, no matter um, what, and that that. Right. And he, I think he lost all track of reality as well. Did Skinner? Yeah. As 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 Trench did with, with his his mental illness. Because it, he started to break down well before his uh, suicide attempt was when he was at, uh, when he was at work. If you remember, uh, he was hi hiding things because his secretary had found what was it uh, all these little things what had gone missing out of his office, all sto stored away. Didn't she because she put them on his desk. Oh, this was found that the, the, it was all, and but he he couldn't remember doing it. Yeah. That's just that's a simple, you know. But they said that's this is right, what, right. This is what, what set him off down the path again, right? And he started to believe what Skinner was saying to him, right? So, so he's putting his 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 uh, you know into doubt. He's thinking, right. you know, have, have I done it? Have I done it? You know, right? And, and, it, and, and, and eventually. Because because the simple things at work were not were not responsible for. I mean that kind of behavior was not indicative of what of what this house looked like. Yeah, this house was done by some criminals. Done by some kids. Some it kids, who, but, but these criminal kids who'd done it a bunch of other times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They I were, mean that that was just a fleeting that was just a fleeting comment by another policeman to to the. To the boss, oh yeah, yeah, we've had a, we've had a spate of these over the past few weeks, sort of thing. And but, and Skinner could have could have found out that there was this other stuff going on. But he wanted a big a bigger. But, he wanted a bigger pin. He wanted it to be bigger than what it was. <laughs> right. I mean, and 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 he really. I mean, the. I mean, he starts off with with you know with this sort of level-headed look, yeah, and then he's uh, oh, I guess that's at the end. Okay, so he goes from this one to this one yeah. where he's sinking, and then to this one where he's really really sad, and this one where his wife is confronting him at the end, and yeah. and he said, "I don't want to go back to that place." He, and he was like, I don't want to be hospitalized again, you know? Man. It, it, it breaks my heart. It's so... It, it's, it, but the trouble is, this story with the police and, and, and Trench, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Because the police, the police are trying to investigate and try and find out what went on. Uh unbeknownst to them well they do find out after a while unbeknownst to them he had a prior breakdown uh but then that comes apparent yeah <laughs> it's it, yeah i don't know it, i mean this could happen to anybody it could it, and, it, and it really could yeah and this and, is what said it, Kaz, would, it was just shoddy police work this is what said Kaz used to do apparently it was it was just real life and people real life sort of stories what people could um, relate to yeah because it's you know you think oh yeah that could happen to anybody yeah who uh and zed cars was this one was directed by oh whoops that's not the right one hang on well, i'll tell you what I, well while i was watching this um it was i, I was quite pleased to see that you know uh, not a big uh, role, but um, one of the uh, Sergeant Colshaw um, in this, played by John Chalice. Yeah. Who, who he was the who's the Sergeant who brought brought the cup of tea into the boss and sat down there talking to him on a Sunday. John Ch John Chalice, um, who only died about two weeks ago. To be, um, but everybody knows him in the in the UK and mostly you lot over there has Boise in Only Fools and Horses. Oh, um, that's the one, yeah. And also Scorby, 
in um, Doctor Who in the Seeds of Doom. Um, yeah, it was just it was just I thought, oh, that's nice to see him in this because we always associate John Chalice with Boise, but here he is playing Sergeant Colshaw, a little a little role. But as I say, it was just a shame, you know, a shame that you know he died just about two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it's nice little to see him in, you know, dressed in his little police police uniform, having a cup of tea with the boss. Yeah. <laughs> and and Zed Kaz as well as as um, has had many actors in it from 1962 until it finished. Um, you know, Brian Blessed was in it for about five series. Um, you had Frank Windsor, you had um, Stratford Johns, uh, you know, those all, all big names at the time. Yeah. And they all, went off, they all went off to do the spin-off sequel, uh, spin-off TV series of Dead Cars. So, but, so uh, who was the producer of, uh, was it just uh, a, a long-term producer or what for the for Zed Cars? What, 801 episodes? I think it might have been different producers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll just have a look. Uh, um, and it was yeah. written by Peter Hammond. This episode was P.J. Hammond. Now, who who is P.J. Hammond? I don't know. He wrote. He he wrote. Um, he created and wrote Sapphire and Steel. Oh. Thank you. There you go. That's <laughs> awesome. See, <laughs> it, it would the the story was like was like um, it was really a mental story. Yeah. Right. And and yeah, I can see where that that connects really well, actually. And I like and I like it because it's you're a, you're a, an American, Susan. As if we don't really already know, but I like it that you say Z cars. Yeah, it's Z cars. It, it's not Z cars. I know because all Americans it's Z, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's what that's a yeah. But you know, the minute you've heard uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and they're talking about plural Z alpha, you you yeah. know what you're you know what you have to look for. And I, can't, I can't find the producers on this. It, well, there, must then, be, there must have been different ones. It was produced by Ron Craddock. This one was, but I, 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 I was just wondering if it was just one long producer or. I or, doubt it. As soon as it ran from sixty-two to seventy-eight. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm. And um, but it you know, the link between the the writing by. P.J. Hammond um, linking to Sapphire and Steel. Yeah, that that makes so much sense now. Yeah. Well, uh, when I saw the writing credits as, as the episode was playing, I thought, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anything else you want to say about this episode? No, it was it was it was really heart wrenching. It was. It was really tough to watch. I mean, in terms of emotions, but in terms of, you know, good show. It was a good show. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. I, I think did P.J. Hammond do something with Doctor Who, but wasn't really taken on. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure. I'm sure he was um, approached, but I don't think it, anything happened about it. But hey ho. <laughs> um, it looks like he wrote two episodes of Torchwood. Well, maybe that's what I'm confusing it with. It looks like he wrote. Um, he created Sapphire and Steel, and he wrote thirty-three episodes of Zed Cars and. <laughs> 
Um, Hammond was approached to write for Doctor Who. There we are. During the troubled production of season 23, Trial of the Time Lord. Oh, okay. A story entitled Paradise Five. Oh, okay. The script was later revived by Big Finish. Ah, that's why I know it from The Lost Stories. Yeah, he, he was part of the script department for Zed Cars and um, and he was on Torchwood Declassified talking about the ones that he wrote. Anyway, yeah, so he, but, I'm glad he wrote, I'm glad they found the lost stories and they had him write it, finish it. And But uh, going back to the, that, going back to this episode though, um, it's 50 minutes, what was it, 50 minutes? Yeah. Of, of damn, damn good drama. Yeah. British, UK TV drama, what really we don't get these days. Just simple drama. Yeah, and it was dramatic, all right. Holy yeah. crap. <laughs> you know, I just, I just, I just felt like, like, like holding Paul Darrow in my arms and just going, no, it's going to be all right. Well, it was so sad at the end because oh. his, his three children were stood there outside the house. They, that's all they did, though, that they didn't yeah. go a play. They weren't. They wasn't allowed to, was they? They weren't. They're... But, uh, but at the end of the episode, they were just stood there. And then the next shot is the ambulance just going away. Oh. And they're thinking, oh, what a sad ending. <laughs> oh. Brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Great, great writing, great acting. Yep. So, anything else on this episode then? Was that cards? No, it was good. Okay, then over to your final scene score. Um, I will give this a 9.5. Uh, uh, Broken lampshades out of ten. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to give this. I enjoyed it. But, uh, this is my sort of first dipping my toes into Z cards as well. Yeah, uh, me too. Um, so I'm going to give this eight point five. Innocent and proven guilty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's an important. <laughs> that's an important qualifier there. I wish I wish today's world would live by that innocent until proven guilty, not the way social media goes. You're guilty. You're guilty even before any trial or anything. Yeah, that's way way too wrong these days. Um, so that's our little chat about Z Cars, the episode Pieces, starring Mr. Paul Darrow over there behind Susan. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Susan, I'd like to thank you for joining me, of course, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure when we get together and just chat and chat. Um, yeah. you, you guys out there, if you want to join us on these casts or in the group, just leave us a message, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're all over the place, um, on YouTube as well, um, please leave a comment there as well. Let us know what you thought of this. Um, also, when we put up videos, please remember to press uh, press the notification button and you'll get a notification every time we put up a new video. Yep. Um, just like that. Um, you just have, you know, when you want to, if you want to join, of course, you just have to be 18 and over with a working laptop, PC, tablet, with a microphone, camera like that, you know. And uh, and you're in, yep. Because we talk about anything, and like today we've been talking about set cans of all things. I know. Uh, we, we're not we're not mainstream. <laughs> we just and, we, we just go off in any any direction we want to go off in. <laughs> and what and what a cool little find this was. Yeah. This was well, a, that was down to you the, this one, Susan, because an intense know episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I say, we, we, we discuss anything, what you know, obscure TV series, obscure movies, mainstream movies, 
audio dramas. We love our audio. Oh, dramas. We're, Monday we're doing uh, we're doing Blake Seven, The Spoils of War. Oh, I wonder who's in that one. Uh, <clears throat> Paul Darrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I've got some re-listen to them. Isn't it? By, by Monday. <laughs> so, until next time, then we, you know. Please be safe out there. Bye for now.